This is going to be a video on how to put one of these quartz motors for a clock back together so that it works right. And the reason I'm making this video is because nowadays I'm starting to forget how I do things. And having a video to look back on helps me to remember. And what I noticed with these is <clears throat> different models are set up differently. Uh, this particular model on the back, it says, get it in there, M2188, and all the videos I've seen on these are different models, and the gears are set up a little differently inside, so um, I've got to do this video, or just looking online is going to take me too long to try to figure things out. So this video is for me, if it helps somebody else, fine, great, wonderful. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop the battery out. Set that aside. And the way we actually take the casing apart, my wife figured this one out for me is just got to open up this side and this side and then you just use a little screwdriver and give it a twist and it does that. We'll put this back in here just so it sits straight. Okay, so I'll pull this out. Most of this is still together somewhat. So finished product wise, it would look kind of like this. I can tilt it some so we can kind of see where some of the things are setting. So we have this in this situation here. This part moved. Let me put it back. There we go. So it sits like this. And a little diagram inside the back case with these uh, kind of four circular areas that are in an arc. That's actually lines up into these holes right there where those little tips are. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this apart. And what we had the most problem with, or what I had the most problem with, was actually not knowing where a certain gear went because it popped out and we didn't realize it popped out. So we'll pull this part out first. And I'll just dump all this. That watermelon smell is good, by the way. Well, that one off too. That one's magnetic. So inside here we have three gears. They kind of set up with one going between the other two. So I'm gonna pull this up. That one out, and then the one that sets up in here. Yeah, a little metal piece came out. Let me get that back in. That's the first for me having this pop out like that. So there it goes. So just this part just pops back in here. This came out before, and I just popped back in there. And these two little leads right there uh, connect to the underside of where the uh, the coils are. So. First part here is I'm going to take this little piece. This is the one that would pop loose and we didn't know where it came from. So it was hard to figure out, but it actually fits in this little slot right there. And then this piece goes into that hole. Kind of orient that so we're sitting at the bottom. And then the motor part goes on top and make sure that the leads touch in here on the metal tabs. And that just sits down. So the order I put this in now is this part is magnetic and it just sits down right in that little hole. And then the part with the long needle type parts that now goes in here. The smaller one here, um, with the gear part going down, a little gear is on the wide part that goes down. 
And the last one is this piece here, and the wide part, it's hard to tell because of the focus. That part's some gears, and that goes through this bigger hole, and lines up with the gear pieces on the inside. And then from there, we just put this piece back in. That's an adjustment part. Put this back in. We've got to line it up before we push. Okay, and that pops in nice and neat all the way around. Funny thing about this is, uh, this part here, it says made in China. And on the front of the clock in big words, it says something like Westminster Clock Company, London, England, to make us think this actually came from England. But then a little piece in the back says made in China. So, you know how that goes. So we stick this in. And when you put the hands back on, I'm not going to leave it on a long time to do this, but when you put the hands back on here, they will move correctly. So that's it. That's my video. Sorry for all the shaking, but there's an earthquake somewhere. I just know it. Anyway, thank you. Bye.